What's the most painful lesson you've learned working at a startup? If you don't get the right people in the beginning, then you're pretty screwed. Working across multiple time zones can be very difficult. Sleep is not an option. Don't break your feet when uh, your startup doesn't have any health insurance. You have to do everything by yourself. All about team. If you don't have the right team, the right people in place, everything falls apart. That when you don't have good systems in place, it's very hard to get stuff done. Not embracing failure quick enough. I used to be very scared of failure, and now I no longer am. That you can fail. That you can fail and you can run out of money and then you have to go back to waitressing and just stick it out and wait until you get that email or wait until you get that phone call so that you can try again. Most important lesson I've learned is you need to be resilient all the time because you're going to be knocked down consistently and uh, there's going to be a million reasons why you shouldn't continue doing what you're doing and you just have to cast them all aside and keep doing it. Even though you may be extremely passionate about your idea, it's very difficult to sell other people on your passion, but if you're motivated enough, then you can undoubtedly get people in and create something amazing from scratch. Trying to decide if it should be an S Corp, a C Corp, or an LLC. So far, that's been the most painful part. And what did you decide? LLC. Same here, way to go, LLC, high five. <laughs> you have to make payroll definitely have to make payroll. You can't miss payroll. Payroll is golden. Managing one's finances and also controlling those finances and customer expectations. Get the right co-founder, sell when you need to sell, raise money when you can. Trying to gain the money that you need, really going after and explaining what your company does to get investors to come in so far. That's, that's one of the keys. You've got to explain it in 30 seconds or less or they, they just don't talk with you at all. Whenever you go to raise, if you don't raise or try to raise three times more than what you think that you're going to need, you're going to end up being screwed towards the end of it and you're going to panic and stress out. Startups are constant stress, um, constant pain, um, and every day you need to learn to celebrate the little victories or you will stress the F out all the time. You have to be really explicitly clear with exactly what's in your mind when you're trying to share your vision or even just simple instructions. Because even though it makes sense in my mind, because I've thought it through and I have 110 ideas a minute, a second, whatever it might be, just really just breathing and sitting with that idea for a second and then thinking of a way that you can really present it to your partner, to your team, to the world. That's storytelling and, and that's really what I learned.